Well, in other news, the tragedy in Parkland not only transformed the community, but also the country. It gave way to a student fueled movement dedicated to addressing gun violence in this country. Our Heather Crawford is in Parkland tonight with a look at how the community is still demanding change. Heather. Now I sat down with Todd DeAngelis uh, just a little while ago. He's the chief communications officer for the city of Parkland, and he opened up about what it was like for this small town to all of a sudden get worldwide attention for this unimaginable tragedy. And he says that this community will not be defined by what was done to it, but by rather what this community does for others. I don't know how long it takes to get beyond it. I can feel the city turning a corner where we are moving forward, we're healing, we're getting back to business as usual. It will never be exactly the same, but in some ways it will be more vibrant because we do have an appreciation for what we have and how beautiful our city is and the sense of community that we have because of what we've gone through. And I'm here in Parkland with First Coast News' Bethany Anderson and Eric Alvarez. And so over the next two days, we're going to be talking to families impacted and students impacted, and we're going to be sharing their stories, their memories, and how they're moving forward. And tonight at 6, I'm going to show you the place that I got to visit today, a place intended to help this community heal. In Parkland, Heather Crawford, First Coast News, on your side. All right, Heather, thank you. And as Heather mentioned, tomorrow we will have team coverage in Parkland, Florida. As we mark one year since that tragic shooting, Heather Crawford will anchor team coverage along with Eric Alvarez and Bethany Anderson from here at First Coast News. So make sure to tune in tomorrow throughout the day.